This demo shows you how to configure the initial basic settings on an iX or TX router running the DAL operating system. I'm using an iX10 but the process is the same for any other DAL router. The default settings on a DAL router are the LAN interface has an IP address of 192.168.21/24 and there's a DHCP server running on this interface. There's also another IP address configured, which is 192.168.210.1/24, but there's no DHCP server running for this network address. So if you want to connect to that one, you'll need to set a static IP address within the same range on your PC. Make sure the DAL router is connected to your PC and go into a web browser and type in the network address to connect to. Don't worry about the certificate warning. This is because the device is using self-signed certificates and they can't be verified. Just press advanced and then proceed. When you get to the login page, you'll need to type in the username, which is admin and the password. Each device has a unique password, which is printed on the label on the bottom of the router. Passwords are case sensitive, so make sure you use the same case as printed on the label. After logging in, the first screen you're presented with is a dashboard view. This gives you information on the hardware and firmware versions, along with interface statuses. This device has one Ethernet and one modem interface, and they're both in the up state. The device you're using may have more interfaces, and they may not all be up at the moment. To proceed with the configuration, Click on System, Device Configuration. When the configuration page is open, the first thing you'll need to do is set a new password for the admin user. Press on the three dots and hover over the help and you'll see the password requirements. 10 characters, one uppercase, one lowercase, one number, one special character. I'll update the password on this one. And then when the requirements are met, you'll see the red banner disappears. You can also configure a new idle timeout. Removing the idle timeout value sets it to no timeout. I'm going to set this to 30 minutes and then scroll up. Go into network, interfaces, modem. The default values in here are fine for most cases, but if your SIM has a pin configured, you'll need to enter that in this box here. And you should also now set an APN on the device. Dell routers do have a list of built-in APNs. Even if it does connect to one of the built-in APNs, this may not be the correct one that your SIM should be using. So I recommend that in all cases, you manually set a APN as well here. The APN for my SIM is wap.02.co.uk. And I'm also going to change this option here. So instead of running through the list of built-in APNs, it only uses the list that I've manually set below. Scrolling down, the next thing I want to do is go into the Ethernet interface. If your device has multiple Ethernet interfaces, the zone that is set to internal will be the LAN interface. If any Ethernet interfaces have the zone set to external, these are WAN Ethernet interfaces. Into the IPv4 section, and you can see here the address type is a static IP address. If you want this device to pick up a DHCP IP address from your network's DHCP server, you can change this here. You can also change the IP address just by overtyping the configuration. I'm going to leave this as the default. Don't forget, if you do change the IP address here, you'll have to do a DHCP release and renew on the connected PC after you click on the apply button. If we scroll down and have a look in the DHCP server settings, we can see that the DHCP server is enabled. Everything here is set to automatic and this is based on the IP address information set in the box above. We're going to leave this as default. Scrolling down a bit further into default IP, this is the other setup IP address, 192.168.210.1.24, and as I said before, there is no DHCP server enabled. If you don't want people to be able to connect to this IP address, just disable the option here. Now, the only IP address enabled on this device is 192.168.21.24. I'm happy with that basic configuration, so I'll click on Apply. Now the configuration's been applied, I can go into Status and then Modems and have a look at the detailed information about the modem connection. In here, we've got details about the connection status, the network technology used, the signal strength, the SIM details for the SIM that's currently in use, 
We've got details about the base station and cell ID that the device is connected to. And we've got IP addressing information down here on the left, along with the modem connection state and the APN that's in use. That all looks good. So that's the initial configuration complete. You should now have internet access from your PC through this router.